this highly anticipated matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. Looking to become the UFC middleweight champion of the world, here he is, the number one middleweight contender for a long time. This man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. So here is the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run rough shot through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge today. Kill the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Santos is five years the elder. Adesanya will have a four-inch reach advantage. We go inside the octagon. Here's the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 21 wins, 7 losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Diogo Mahenka. And now it is the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. Yes, he may be my guys. Thank you so much. situations normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success I want to see how this plays out oh beautiful jab by him there really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach Adesanya gets caught with that punch gotta shore up the defense here oh there's the head kick it's blocked all right DC he's got the over under now He's got the over-under. He's gonna look to lift that underhook and start to fight and land. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Oh! What a kick! An uppercut in! 
slips the punch. Just missed with the left there. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double-A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike. But to be whiffing like this, it only exhausts you because every moment he's trying to throw to knock the opponent out, and you're just catching air. It was a huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up. I'm on. Job working hard, posting, and getting back up. So we pull up the numbers here. 28 total strikes have landed for Maheta. Nice strike. Pinpoint accuracy on the kick there by Adesanya. It's just hard to know what's coming, and there's no stop in this. Game. I mean, there's no stop. But there's no. Oh, liver shot right on the button. I mean, liver shot. That is the most debilitating shot in all of fighting. It is very difficult to recover from that. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He was high, and now he's got him hurt bad. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. Good takedown defense by Israel. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Adesanya. Big hall punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, and now he's at the referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 58 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new USC middleweight champion of the world, Diogo Mahenka. All right, so how about this, DC? We have a new UFC middleweight champion and...